I was in New York last week. The sun was out, the sky was blue, and we went to see the Stonewall Inn. When we got there, what we found was a pile of notes, balloons, candles, flowers, and pictures in front of it, all for the victims of the Orlando shooting. Standing in the place where the modern pride movement began with so much history and seeing this heap of color in front of that sign was a powerful experience. That was about a week after the Orlando shooting. People were evidently still putting new things there because the flowers hadn't all withered. Our community has so much love. We often talk about the divides in it, the bullying and hatred and the intra-community discrimination, because it has to be talked about, it's important. But even when we talk about those things, it's worth remembering the love and compassion and togetherness we are capable of. It's what got us this far. We do things together, people achieve things together. I'd like to point out that, sadly, bad things happen to LGBT plus people all over the world all the time. I'm not saying it to make people feel bad about the state of the world, or guilty about not thinking about it all the time. Just to remind people of the importance of changing things everywhere, not just in America. Not that I know how to do that, I don't know how to change the world, I just know how to love. And if I may be so optimistic, I think that love can change the world. Not necessarily cute lovey-dovey love, not necessarily gentle love, but love as a driving force for courage and persistence. Love heavy with the weight of history. Love not as a word whispered between soft sheets in the morning, but shouted on the streets through tears, sung to the skies with, with passion and hope that refuses to die. So where do we go from here? I don't know. I'm not an experienced activist or leader of any kind. All I know is that we put flowers, create hashtags, express our sadness, tell the people we love that we love them, and we carry on. We fight. Sometimes we have setbacks and it feels like everything's suddenly going backwards, but we keep fighting anyway. And one day this is history, and we tell our grandkids about it. And let's pray that they don't understand, because they can't imagine a world in which people are killed for who they love. There's a song called Joshua's Song. I'll put a link to it in the description. I'd like you to listen to it, or if you aren't hearing, read the lyrics after watching this video and pretend we're all singing it together. Maybe it'll make you feel better. I love you all so very, very much, and I hope I never have to make a video like this ever again. I love you.